Good afternoon and welcome to the Senior Hour, which is sponsored by Providence Holy Cross Medical Center, Hestia Med Spa, and Comfort Keepers in Home Care. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio. On your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220 KHTS. This is a show for, about, and by seniors, giving information to enhance one's quality of life. And speaking of quality of life, our first guest is Blythe Birchall, and she is the Director of Activities at the Santa Clarita Valley Senior Center. Thank you for having me. It's yes. nice to see you again. Yes. Well, welcome, Blythe. Thank you, Dr. Welcome, Jean, welcome. and it's nice to hear your voice, too. Yay. <laughs> One of these days I'll get to see him. One of these days. He's kind of like the, the Wizard of Oz, you know, he's behind the curtain. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> But I, I'm behind the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Up to mischief all the time. Yep, yep, all, all the time. Why not? So, Blythe, w- w- welcome, welcome. And, and so t- tell us, Blythe, you know, the Senior Center has a tremendous number of activities. So I know you have your hands full. But let, let's, let's go through some of those activities that, clearly, clearly benefit our seniors, which all of them do. I, but let's, let's go through some of them and uh, maybe how those in our community will benefit. Well, thank you for asking. It's interesting, uh, Dr. Jean, when I was driving down here, I thought, what is, what is the most important message I want to deliver today? And it was kind of challenging because we have so many wonderful programs going on at the Senior Center. Hooray, yes, you're finally it's, open. It's, it's, a remarkable, it's a remarkable place. And uh, mm. when I first started working there, you know, I was told it was the best kept secret in Santa Clarita, but I can tell you right now that secret has gotten out and people, mm-hmm. people are learning about what we've got to offer. But uh, I spend the bulk of my time uh, scheduling and uh, monitoring the classes and, and activities at the Senior Center. And we've had some that went on through the pandemic via Zoom. I'm happy to report that all the classes that we offer through Zoom are in the building. And so people can participate both ways. They can come in and um, safely sit in the classes and participate, or if they're more comfortable or they are unable to drive to the center, they are more than welcome to uh, participate via Zoom. We have everything from uh, fitness classes, arts classes, we have creative writing, uh, we're, I'm right in uh, discussions right now to bring our tap dancing teacher back. So we're trying to kind of hit um, just about everything that anybody could possibly want. So, um, in fact, to be honest with you, both some of our fitness classes have gotten so popular that we have, are filling up the largest classroom, and we're trying to maintain uh, safe social distancing. So in order to accommodate more people that would like to participate in person, we've opened up a second classroom put a very mm-hmm. large TV in there, and uh, we zoom it in. So we'll have 18 people plus an instructor in our large classroom, and then another about 16 people in our other room that can participate at the same time. It's gotten that popular. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Well, there's so many people are so glad to get out now. Yes. They, you know, it, 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 it was so so challenging especially for our seniors i know both of my kids would come down and visit me you know my daughter would spend the night a couple of nights a week and um they always said mother you do not go out period the only place i came was here you're not alone in that there's there's quite a bit of that and that's why as we've gone forward and brought the classes back in there are still people that do not want to venture out of their homes yet and that's it's completely understandable. It's everyone's got to be comfortable with 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 where their, they are. Exactly, Absolutely. and so that's why we continue to offer it on Zoom. And hopefully, as more time goes by and this pandemic gets behind us farther and farther, um, we will continue to offer it via Zoom because we do have a contingent of truly homebound seniors that cannot mm-hmm. drive, and they participate in our Meals on Wheels mm-hmm. program, and now they they can also participate in our classes. So, um, you mm-hmm. know, we're, we're trying to, you know, as I, I think I've said this before, if anything good has come from this pandemic, it has gotten us to jumpstart that uh, for the truly homebound senior. And there are mm-hmm. a lot of them. Quite a few. There quite really a few. are, you know. As and you, and it, it's now um, 
people are getting older. Yes. And they're surviving. Good. But That's at times, good. they aren't able to go out. Absolutely. You know? And they need something to do. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a television, which I would think most seniors do have a television, they can sit in front of that television and exercise like crazy. Well, Even if you're mm -hmm. sitting in the chair, well, you know, you can do the, the stretches with legs up and legs down and that kind of thing and strengthen your core. So those kinds of things are, they're a lifesaver. Well, and it's really interesting, are. Barbara, that you mention that because we do have a, a, an extremely popular sit and be fit class, which is done entirely in the chair. And we have a, a just as popular chair Pilates class uh, taught by a woman who is reformer trained and certified. And everything is done in the chair. So, um, and then we do have our other classes, whether it's flex and flow yoga, that the minute the instructor realizes that there needs to be modification or that we have a senior sitting in a, a wheelchair or in, in one of those seated walkers, they, modi mm -hmm. they modify the activities for them so they can participate mm -hmm. safely. Yeah. Yeah, one of, one of the hardest things that I do is sitting up in bed after I've been lying down mm -hmm. asleep. Just sit up and that really put stress on your core. Yes, it oh does. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. But it's it's so good for you. It really is, especially as you get older and you're not that active physically, you know, because <laughs> I, let's face it, as you get older, I mm -hmm. mean older, your body starts to fade away a little bit, you know, your strength does. And, and Dr. Jean, I'm sure you'd agree when I say that, you, you know, everybody has to listen to their bodies. And how you feel one day isn't necessarily how you're going to feel the next. That's right. And uh, you may have mm -hmm. an ache and pain one day that's gone the next, or you may find it, it goes the other way. So you're smart to listen to yourself and, and take it easy until your body warms up and you can do more. That's right. And besides, my kitty cat comes around <laughs> me usually about 7, 7.30 every morning. Row, row. Row, row. Time to get up, mother. I'm your hungry. Alarm, your alarm clock. Yeah. yeah. And she's 19 years old, too. Oh, my too. goodness. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. Yes. So she's she's still going strong. But, you know, any time I, I expect her not to wake up, you know, when she's asleep on oh. my bed during the day, when I go in there, I stop and see if her, see if her little tummy is moving mm. up and down. Yeah. And as long as it is... Everything's like fine. It's a good day. Oh yes, <laughs> because she's and, and she's my company. Yeah. She really is. You're not alone in that. A lot oh. of folks uh, uh, rely on their pets for company. Oh, absolutely. I think especially seniors. Yes, yes. Because you know sometimes like uh, people are afraid to go out in the feet, uh, but if you get there early enough, a lot of these activities start. And uh, of course, you know we control the uh, temperature there. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, it used to be a designated cooling center for Santa Clarita. Uh, so, you know, it's not that you're exercising and it's, you know, 95 degrees. It's, uh, it's a cool temperature. Uh, and we, we regulate that often and we make sure people remain hydrated. Absolutely. I'm glad you brought that up, Dr. Jean, because, yes, the, the building is nice and, and cool and comfortable. In fact, I kind of like going to work because I know I'm going to have air conditioning while I'm there. Mm -hmm. um, and there are uh, water stations like a sparkless water. I don't know what brand we use. But anyway, there are there's water that is always available uh, for the seniors if they need to get hydrated. And we do have quite a few seniors that will come for a morning class and they'll stay for the next class. And pretty soon it's lunchtime. And now that we've opened up our ballroom uh, for in-person yes. dining, they can really make a nice day of it by coming in, getting mm -hmm. some exercise, socializing a little bit, and then having a spectacular meal uh, prepared by our uh, team. I call him Team Marco. Uh, Marco is our chef, and he's got a mm -hmm. wonderful culinary arts team that works for him, or works with him, I should say. And uh, so they can have a fantastic, uh, a fantastic morning, go home, and, and do nothing. Exactly. <laughs> and you, but, but, you deserve it after that. But feel like that you've, you've gotten out and about, and, and I, I just love to think about the fact that they're going home. They may be a little tuckered out, but so am I. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you want to take that nap and get ready for dinner or see other family and friends, you can do that. So it's, it's yes. really a nice program. But I did want to touch on the fact that we, we do have our in-person dining. 
and seniors uh, are taking advantage of that. They're coming into the building. Uh, we still have our Meals on Wheels program available, and we also have our drive-through program available. But if we have folks that want to get together and, and enjoy a meal together, they are more than mm -hmm. welcome to come between 11 and 1, Monday through Friday, and uh, enjoy, enjoy lunch together. That's fantastic. It really yeah. is. It really is. And what, what are some of the most popular um, exercise programs that you have? I've got a little, Which, yeah, interesting. Um, they've all become pretty much, I'm going to say, wildly popular. It's been really fun to see. Um, we always uh, are booked up with our Zumba classes. We have Zumba five days a week. Uh, and our, as I mentioned before, our chair Pilates, our sit and be fit, our flex and flow yoga has just gone booming along. And then we also offer uh, Tai Chi. And it's really kind of hard to single out a class that isn't popular at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, what is Tai Chi? Well, you're, you're, what, what you're do probably you do? asking the wrong person. <laughs> oh, I am? Okay. <laughs> no, well, I try. I'll tell you, when I began working there, uh, Kevin, our CEO, wanted me to participate in all the classes so that I had a feel for what we were offering. And it was so interesting to me, fantastic class, very humbling for me, because you really do have to slow down. And that does not come naturally to me. And so it was, uh, it's all about movement, uh, if my understanding, and, and Dr. Jean, you probably have some information on this, because I do believe you've done some of this, um, but it's about mm -hmm. movement and core and balance. And all of those things mm -hmm. are great for us as we age. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and we, we we always talk about core and core strength and uh, physical conditioning, but you know our, our listeners there there are some that are now um, uh, online and listening to our our, our program on KHTS, and um, they're wondering, well, wait a second, I I can't drive anymore, I can't get there, uh, and here in Santa Clarita, the city and the county has worked together with the senior center to make sure that transportation is available. And when I'm over at the senior center, I see a constant flow of, of buses coming from different parts of our community to bring seniors uh, into our senior center and bring them home. So if you are listening to this show and are saying, I can't make it there because I can't drive, well, th there is a way, Blythe, for them to uh, be able to get get a ride over there in an air-conditioned uh, vehicle that will take walkers and wheelchairs. So uh, don't be afraid to utilize what we have here in Santa Clarita for all the seniors that uh, uh, want to be active. Well, you know, it's, uh, thank you for mentioning that, Dr. Jean, because um, that program is, is called Dial-A-Ride, and it's run through the city of Santa Clarita. And so much of what we do, it's, it's one of those, it takes a village, and it's 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 so nice to have the support from the city because not only do they support us in so many ways, but they also support us in bringing some of our seniors to us. And uh, I believe, if I understand the program correctly, you know, they set it up at the, through the city, and then they can reload their cards uh, at, at our facility, and it's, it's not expensive at all once they get everything in place. So we do. Mm -hmm. We have actually a, a nice contingent of folks who come in in the morning, and you're absolutely right. Those dial ride buses are coming one after another, it seems like, for a while. Mm -hmm. And then they'll pick them up early afternoon, late afternoon. The, uh, the seniors schedule their drop-off and pickup times uh, with the city. So there is some flexibility there, and that, that can go a long way as to how, what kind of a day you have and how long you want your day to be at the senior center. Wow, that's fantastic. Yes. It mm -hmm. really is. And you know... And, you know, you have a when you walk into the lobby of the senior center, you're well greeted uh, by the front desk. And uh, but when you look uh, behind, there's a whole slew of activities uh, like that, that that is available. And, you know, it's called reading material. You you can uh, you there's so many things and you just have to figure out where the room is and. Uh, what time it starts and what day it is, and uh, then you got to figure out your lunch and you know w what time you can you know get to a table and you know it's a it's a full day and it's all air conditioned and it's all with friends and people you get to know. Uh, there's nothing better than our senior center in Santa Clarita. Best kept secret, secret 
absolutely still is and will always be uh, for, for us as we get older. Well, you know, also once you walk in the door and you're going to wait for someone, you can turn to the left and go in and sit in that beautiful seating area. And those the chairs lobby, are right. so comfortable. Oh, <laughs> you take my a nap goodness. in one of those, yeah. right? <laughs> That's an idea. It's not. It's not hard to keep from doing that. Well, believe me, because well. every chair that you got. And I, when I went over there, well, it's been a few weeks ago, but I, I sat in every chair that was empty just to try it out, yeah. and mm-hmm. it was so it lower and lower, right? Yeah, Barbara? that's right. <laughs> and harder and harder to get up. But that was good for my core. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we do, uh, when you do walk into the senior center, you're absolutely a beautiful lobby area. Oh, yes. I always call it our fireside room because during the winter we have a, a, yeah. a fireplace fire in there. But you will be greeted uh, by our concierge uh, desk. And we have an Angeline who works there and Irma, and they are spectacular. And they put the, the capitals in customer service because they will yep. do whatever needs to get done to make sure your visit is a happy, positive one. And if you're just coming in for the first time and you need a tour, one of them will, whatever they're doing, there's nothing more important in that moment than taking care of that person coming through the door. And they they just excel at it. I can't say enough about them. Now, is your library open? Yes, ma'am, our library is open. (sighs) It is, I'm glad you asked about that. It's open for uh, free reading. Uh, And then in the afternoon, what I've found post-pandemic is the card games are are far more popular than they were beforehand. So every afternoon Mm -hmm. I've got either Canasta or Social Bridge or Rummy Cube. Um, What I know I'm forgetting something, oh, Pinochle. And it's amazing to me. And I think what that, because it's not a class, we just provide, we provide the supplies. And I think it just gives people a place to gather outside of their homes. And, and just some fun and camaraderie. But those games have become so popular that I actually have to sometimes, if, if it's being spoken for by, say, Social Bridge, and I have eight, eight people come in that want to play Rummy Cube, I'm going to find them a room. You know, we're going to make oh, sure it happens. So, mm-hmm. um, but, but it's kind of interesting. But, yes, the customer services there, we're going to do whatever we can re- feasibly and reasonably to make sure that when you come into that building, you have a spectacular time. Well, I I have a bag full of books that I oh okay that I can bring in there and take some more home because that's what I've done before. Yes, <laughs> yes, and people just so if you're listening, just know if you want to come in, you can borrow a book or books. It's completely on our system. There's no checking out necessary. When you're done with it, you either pass it on to a friend or bring it back. And same with well, our puzzles. We have puzzles the same way. Oh, I have so many puzzles. <laughs> I, oh my goodness. Am I going to regret saying that? Oh. <laughs> Well, it's interesting because my kids bought me one of those tables that lift up like this. Because what what I was doing during this pandemic time that we had, I had the uh, card table. And I was having to... Oh, hunching over. Hunching over. And it was hurting Mm -hmm. my back. Mm -hmm. So they thought, oh, I know what we're going to get for mom. And (laughs) they bought me this great big... It must be, yeah, the, the top of it is about this big. Four by six or so? It's yeah. about this big. Okay. And um, so I pull it out and put it in front of me and lift it up, and it's a material that the pieces don't slide. Oh, and nice. I'm able to sit up straight in my chair and, oh, and do this, do this, fit all the pieces. Nice. The only, the only uh, size puzzle I cannot use on that is the thousand piece. Yeah, because that, the, the that ship sailed for me a long time ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 750 is the highest I can go to get all the pieces on the, uh, you know, on the board there. Yeah, you oh, give wow. me those preschool pieces and I'm good, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's about where I'm at. But, uh, but I wanted to also, you know, we, we, uh, we've been talking about the activities day to day that we have, but I did want to take a moment to let the, the, uh, uh, the audience know that one of the other things that we're bringing back, and it's, I'm very excited about this, is the Beauty Bus. And the Beauty, Beauty bus, bus is another nonprofit that we have worked with in the past. Back in the day, before the pandemic, they would bring about seven, six, seven, eight estheticians, and the seniors could sign up for a service that they would offer. And it was, it was a very lively day at the Senior Center. 
Well, I'm happy to say they're coming back as doing a pop-up salon this Monday. Oh, my goodness. And what they're Terrific. offering, yes, and it's limited. It's de definitely a limited um, service this time. Uh, folks can sign up on, uh, on our website, which is myscvcoa.org. But they are uh, they can sign up for either a hair trim, a, um, oh, my goodness, it's going to escape me. Uh, well, anyway, or a hand massage. And I think I, why I can't remember the other mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is because I'm focusing on that hand massage. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well it, it's so been so good to have you again. Thank and you. And how can uh, everyone contact you? All right. So the phone number for the Senior Center, the direct line, is 661-259-9444. And I'm at extension 151. If I'm not there, if they call that direct line, it, the phone will be picked up either by the uh, Angeline or Irma at the concierge desk. Yeah. And then our website, if anybody would like to sign up for any of the activities or ask any questions, it's my for my, scv for Santa Clarita Valley, coa for committeeonaging.org. Terrific. Thank you so much for coming in, thank Blythe. You, it was wonderful. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. I always yes, have fun you. when I come down here and see you, so thank you both. <laughs> Okie doke. Thank you, Blythe. Appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, Dr. We, Jean. We need to take a break. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220 KHTS. It's painful when your teenager in your household is out of control. Out of control behavior is your teen's way of telling you something is wrong. Sometimes the reason for your teen's out of control behavior is so personal and tragic, your teen would never tell you or anyone else. Actions speak louder than words. Action Drug Rehab can help. With compassionate individual counseling, group sessions, and family support, Action Drug Rehab has been caring for thousands of Santa Clarita teens for decades. Visit actiondrugrehab.com. Get help now. SCVI is a tuition-free TK-12 through charter school that gives your child boundless opportunities to think critically and imagine freely. We offer a customized learning program built around your child's unique interests and strengths with the only international baccalaureate program in all of Santa Clarita. Our approach keeps students and families in step no matter where your learning is taking place. Be empowered to make your mark on the world at SCVI. To take a tour or enroll now in our one-of-a-kind program, visit iLeadSantaClarita.org. iLead Schools, free to think, inspired to lead. If you're in need of physical therapy, check out Focus Physical Therapy. Owner and therapist Adam Laraway has the latest in cutting-edge technology, introducing the Newbie, the ultimate in neuromuscular re-education. The Newbie can help you heal up to 70% faster and was FDA cleared in September 2017. The newbie uses pulse direct current, which mimics the same neurological signals the brain uses and allows the therapist to identify those signals with 100% accuracy. Newbie can even help improve your sleep while tackling issues with neck, knee, and shoulder pain, sciatica, and arthritis. It can accelerate your fitness progress, which means better results in less sessions. Get stronger quicker. Why not use the same technology that the Dodgers and the LA Clippers use? Focus PT located on Peachland off Lions in Newhall. Call 255-4205. Go online at focusphysicaltherapyscv.com. Helping lead the way to a greener future, all of Burtech's Santa Clarita Valley waste collection trucks run on clean, burning natural gas. Burtech takes pride in their community, and they've been serving the SCV for nearly two decades. Because at Burtech, we'll take care of it. It's time to experience a pain relief, wellness, and anti-aging treatment unlike any other. It's time to check out MEND Cryotherapy. Relieve chronic joint and muscle pain, diminish soreness and inflammation, alleviate stress-related symptoms, boost immune system performance, and improve sleep and recovery times. MEND Cryotherapy is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Go to MEND, M-E-N-D, cryotherapy.com. Ool Rich Lifestyle Structures has been providing a full array of quality backyard structures for over 30 years. From storage units, craft rooms, man caves, she sheds, cabin shells, even playhouses, garages, steel and wood horse barns. Need extra space for your mother-in-law or a pool house? Come see Ool Rich Lifestyle Structures' large selection in stock today. Let Ool Rich Lifestyle Structures begin your dream building so you can relax and enjoy life in your backyard. 
Ulrich Lifestyle Structures. Ulrich Lifestyle Structures, located behind Denny's on Delone Street, off the 14 Freeway, Sand Canyon Exit. Open Monday through Saturday, 8.30 to 5.30. For more information, go to ulrichlifestyle.com. Your, your hometown station. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara <clears throat> Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220 KHTS. And we have the one and only, one of our sponsors of Company Keepers in Home Care. And I wonder who that is. Hey, Miles. The one and only Miles oh, McNamara. Hello, Barbara. <laughs> Hello, Doc. <laughs> it's good to have you in here instead of talking on the phone. I'm trying to let the air conditioning catch up to me so I stop sitting here sweating like a stuff you know what. <laughs> <laughs> Put the things oh, on there. Why do I, oh, I can't hear Gene. That's right. Let me, let me yeah. put my donkey ears on. <clears throat> Hello, well, Gene. He's a chicken. He won't come in anymore. Oh, well. I did the oh, same well. thing for a long time. <laughs> I know. But it's more fun to come in yeah. to speak one person to the other, you know. Yeah. Makes a big difference. You better you better start rethinking, Gene. Well, I don't think I've seen you since. So I've seen both seen you. I th Gene, you were at the celebrity waiter dinner, yes? Yes. Yeah. 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 We so, were all there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, seen the two there. of you at the celebrity waiter dinner. Yes. You yes. sitting next to me is the t the head table. <laughs> Queen Barbara. That's right. Everybody, everybody kissing the ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to have them do another table, which would sit next to that I want to buy because oh. somebody outbid me. Well, you didn't like my title sponsor table sitting next to you. No, no, no. That wasn't it. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm I don't kidding. want to sit, you know, ten miles away. Yeah. No, because I, it. I hear you. It's not pleasant. Yeah. So I'm waiting for the senior center to make up their mind whether they want to have an extra, you know, sponsor table. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it was a lot of good time. Yeah. Oh, it Always was. a great fundraiser for our seniors. It was wonderful, and it wasn't that hot either. Uh, well, again, I'm, well, I'm a perspirator, so <laughs> we have different views on that. I was not comfortable, but well, that's okay. Well, I expected it to be much warmer. Yeah. Well, hopefully next year the, you know, COVID will be long gone, and we can get inside that air-conditioned grand ballroom oh, and— Really I kick our so. heels up. I really hope so. Are you listening, then, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Had he been on today, we would have really given it to him. Yeah. To make yeah. sure. So, what's on the docket, sir? Well, <clears throat> on the docket, I'm gonna I'm gonna share a personal story today that kind of circles back to things that we've talked about a multitude of times. Uh, just just kind of. Uh, I don't know. Stabilize the future, if you will, for some of our seniors and families. Is I lost my mother last month. Oh, no. And I know we've always oh. talked about, you know, advanced health care directives and, and having having a plan, you know. And, and fortunately, I can say that I kind of talk the talk, but I also walk the walk, is that we, as my mom, she was 83, and, you know, we knew she was in failing. So, anyway, we had an advanced health care directive. We had a trust. We had, you know, all, of, all the ducks in the rows, as we've always talked about. And, and it came in handy through the previous years, which I think I mentioned, because there were health care is issues that bounced up. And, and just to review for our listeners who may not be aware of it and had not hear me talk about it until we're blue in the face, uh, an advanced health care directive is a legal document that allows you to speak on behalf. And it doesn't have to be a family member. It could be anybody, but primarily your senior aging parents. Um, and, and also, as I've mentioned in the past, when your children turn 18 – get one for them as well because now they're legally an adult and you will not be able to speak on their behalf if something god forbid happens throws them into the hospital goes into and the doctors are saying i need your advanced health care directive and dr gene can vouch for this but i need your advanced health care directive before we can listen to you or we make the Correct. decision the doctors mm -hmm. the courts whoever um so we would executed our, our advanced health care directive many times when my mom was struggling with health. She wasn't able to really speak. She, you know, you know, she had to have some toes amputated because of her diabetes. And I mean, so but we were able to step in advanced health care directive in hand and, you know, and, and, and to digress a little bit before I forget is, is photocopies are fine. So photocopy one taped to the refrigerator if paramedics come in, copy mm -hmm. one for your glove box. 
put a copy on your phone, you know, do a PDF file on your phone, wherever. So if anything happens, because you never get a warning, never, you know, it's like a flat tire. You never say, okay, I was prepared for this. Um, you'll always have a copy of that advanced health care directive uh, for whom it applies. Uh, so we were making decisions left and right. And then, then her, her passing was kind of out of the blue. It was, it was I mean, we'd, we'd moved her into an assisted living facility uh, just a few months ago. And, and she was happy and she was enjoying the social aspect of it. And I mean, she fought a little bit at first, but you know, yeah. and I, I'm going to be bouncing around here because well, you know, it still... was a strange place. Yeah. Uh, you know, it wasn't her home. I, I don't really have a complete roadmap here of what I want to talk about. So I might bounce around a little bit. So I apologize in advance, but uh, you know, we, I've talked about in past shows about having the talk and that means before mm-hmm. it's an issue, before temperatures are, you know, tempers are, are high and, and people are overwhelmed, sit down with your aging loved ones and draw what we call the map. What do you see this journey look like? You know, as you age in place, some seniors are going to say, I want to be in my home till my dying breath. Some are going to say, I like an assisted living because sometimes they're referred to as a, you know, cruise ship on land. So I want the, you know, a socialization. I want the, I want to be pampered at the assisted. And, you know, so whatever their choice is, you know, I don't, I don't recommend for the kids. I know it sounds heroic, but don't say mom will live with me because unless you, you know, when it comes time, what happens when she needs 24 hour care? So really think that, talk that through with her, your, your parents, your doctors, whoever, um, but anyway, so the talk was, and I've said it in the past, don't be a bull in the china shop. Timing is everything, mm-hmm. you know. You know, keep the dignity and respect and love in place before you go there. And and my approach was, it was kind of like, how do we get on this topic? I didn't walk in and say, Mom, let's talk about your future. You know, what the heck do you want? I mean, it was it was a Christmas Christmas a few years ago. she be, she's been living in her her own home alone for a long time um and we you know it always came up she was lonely and we were scared that she was going to fall we got an emergency response system and and such but you know uh she was leaning toward needing in-home care uh unfortunately i'm too far away to provide that for my own mother because she lived in northern california uh she lived down here she'd have one of my caregivers in a heartbeat um but we're just sitting there watching tv which was what, way too loud because she couldn't hear, <laughs> um, you know, and, 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 and it just sort of casually developed. You know, I'd been, I'm not going to lie, I'd been plotting this for a long time and not being that bull in a china shop, you know. So I'm sitting there and we're watching one of her westerns. We're sitting at the couch. I'd been up there for a couple of days for the Christmas holiday. Um, and we're just chatting. And I said, you know, and she brought up the fact that she was lonely. You know, you know, I get lonely here, and you know, so one thing led to another, and I said, well, you know, and I can't remember verbatim what I said, but I did, I didn't rush at her with it, I, I didn't say, damn it, mom, you need to have help, you know, and so, you know, so there's a real approach and a real strategy when adult children do it before you get behind the eight ball. You know, do it so you can bring it up casually and, you know, hey, you know, have you thought about or what do you want? And, and even if it takes multiple conversations, I mean, don't be, you know, hallucinogenic and, and think you're going to solve it in one conversa- conversation, you know, because you may, you may plant the seed, which is what I did, actually. Really, I think of the trip up before I, I had planted the seed and left it alone. Mm-hmm. Then when we, you know, and then she's the one. Ironically enough, that next visit said, you know what we were talking about last time when I said I was lonely? I think I'd like to go into assisted living. Whoa. It was her idea. Not, not, I, I'm not, you know, it was the word uh, naive enough to think that's going to happen for everybody. But my point is the talk is an important strategic approach to see what your parents want. And we've talked about it before, you know, the golden rule of you do unto others as they do unto you. I go by and, and I, you know, submit to you that there's the purple rule that we've talked about before, yeah. which is do unto others how they want to be done unto. Because what you may want 
that's not what your mom or dad may want that's you right. know so so think about that because that's a whole different twist to how you treat somebody because some people <laughs> the way you treat yourself you better not treat me that way <laughs> you know so you know it's it, you know it, so it's it's really important uh, to 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 have the talk so first of all you know what the map says you know what the journey looks like and everybody's on the same page and now it comes to the legal beagle side of it so that you know you're not you know, the door's not slammed in your face when it's time, as I said earlier, God forbid, when you have to step in and and make decisions that are tough. And the advanced healthcare directive agent doesn't have to be an adult child. Sometimes I recommend that. You know, sometimes, you know, if you have multiple siblings and, you know, then there's feelings hurt because, you know, you can put A, B, C, even as many agents as you want you know, and, and there is a pecking order, but it's whoever's physically there. So if, if you're Agent C, and, but your brother, Agent A, is out of state, you, you're, you're primary. Anybody on that list can talk and, and speak on behalf because they're on that legal document saying they can do so. Uh, that, that's on the health care directive. The advanced health care directive, correct. So, you know, the, and, and so it doesn't, as I said, have to be a family member. It can be anybody that you trust. And this is the important part. Once you have the talk, then follow the talk, the map, because first of all, this primarily prevents the sibling standing out in the hallway of the hospital arguing. No, this is what mom wants. No, she would have wanted this. Well, I think she wants. No, let's look at the map. Let's look at her map. And now, more importantly, stick to the bloody map. So, you know, if mom said she wanted A, B, C, and when the crunch time comes, you're out there still arguing about doing let's X, do X, Y, Z, that's my point as far as it doesn't have to be a family member because emotions get involved, you know, especially if you're talking about removing life-sustaining equipment mm-hmm. after an accident or, or a health issue. Uh, it's, it just has to be somebody, anybody who you trust to follow the map. Yes. Absolutely. You know, so you don't want to, I mean, it, it's how ridiculous to put all that work into something and it's going to be ignored when it's crunch time. Well, the other thing, too, that, that I strongly believe in is is uh, long-term care insurance. I mean, it, it paid over two-thirds of the of the bill that Russ and I had Yeah. when we had health care providers and we used your health care providers also. But again, think about the fact that if you wanted to use your long-term care insurance and something, ha- I'm stretching here, but it's trying to make a point that that's what you wanted. When this happens, we're going to trigger the long, but somehow you can't now make that decision and that agent yep. that you assigned in your advanced health correct advanced health care directors is doing the absolute opposite of how you Mm ask them to do it that's why it's so important who you choose and it doesn't don't think you're going to hurt anybody's feelings it doesn't have to be an adult child it can be anybody so you're right Right, and and that's all in the umbrella of aging and aging in place and Mm -hmm. and and following the, the the journey that the person outlined that they wanted. I mean, don't don't make it a, a you know an activity of you know just busy work. Oh, we'll do this, but we won't follow it. You know, it's, uh. you know, no, that's that's not how that's not how it should work. No. And, and I want to really circle back and and say because again, who's that? It's been years, Doctor Dorio. A great great example is that Florida case. Was it like Terry Lively or Terry something? Yeah, but the same thing. Ball maybe. Yeah, some some Back. some young woman who had I don't know if it was a serious accident. I, you know, what mm-hmm. what? But she and there, it actually because there was no advanced health care directive, the family was fighting. You know, was she an organ donor? Well, is there a chance she'll come out of the coma? And it, you know what happened? It went right to the courts. Families were sidelined, and it became mm-hmm. a, an international media sensation. You oh. know, but the fact is, can you imagine? The family sitting there helpless while judges and lawyers and whoever argue about your loved one's future and outcome? That, That's that, maddening. That must be horrible. But, oh. It must but be think, horrible. Think about this, though. Think about this. Even now in 2022, one-third of the population, the adult population, have an advanced health care directive. Not enough. Two-thirds. Two thirds do not. I know this as a fact. One third do not have, do have a health care directive. Two thirds do not. That means that 
uh, two-thirds of the population don't have this legal document, one. Sec- secondly, the, the other part of this is if you do not have a health care directive and you go to the emergency room and you are unconscious, In this state of California in 2022, you as a family member do not have the right to make decisions for your loved ones. That is a fact. I know it is a fact because there is a law pending right now, AB 2338. AB 2338, it originated here in Santa Clarita, and it puts into law, California state law, next of kin has a right to make medical decisions. That's what it does. But right now, you or your loved one do not have the right as next of kin to make decisions, and it's then put in the hands of uh, doctors who you might know, not know, HMOs, or, or even uh, hospital administrators. But you you know, re- really do not want that to happen. So right. yeah. we're awaiting this law to be put into action. And we'll let you know when it does happen. We've talked about it before on the show as well. But it's okay. important, Dr. Gene, to to really let our listeners know that does not diminish the importance of an advanced health care directive. Absol- it because- adds. It, it says you should have one right but my point is 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 what we're saying of people ignoring your wishes so next of kin comes in because the other kids are out of state and they start making decisions that that young that adult child knows that's not what mom wanted that's she they knew that's not what the siblings are going to so again next of kin gives anybody you know blood relation the license to do things that the rest of the family and the mother or father themselves did not approve of so it, yes, it, but, it's, but it's the a law, false sense of security. The new law will delineate uh, the line of succession. That's why. And secondly, it prevents outside people uh, from making these decisions. Right. It's not going to be, it won't be perfect, but it's better than allowing someone, your loved one, to come in, don't have an advanced directive, and then is unconscious, and then somebody else, not the wife or the husband or the uh, siblings or the children. Uh, they won't have the right to make that any decisions uh, for the, your loved one. Agreed. Uh, so that will limit. But it, right now, uh, we're emphasizing the need to have an advanced directive. You have to. We want to emphasize. All three of us know that you have to have this written in a legal way uh, and signed. Uh, so that it's acceptable, uh, so that uh, what you want is what you want now, if you're unconscious, it will be allowed to happen with the right people in place. Understood. Sure, right. I and I really and want to we, circle back to, oh. We need to take a break. Shutting up. Y- yes. <laughs> 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 I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220 KHTS. If you're in need of physical therapy, check out Focus Physical Therapy. Owner and therapist Adam Laraway has the latest in cutting-edge technology, introducing the Newbie, the ultimate in neuromuscular re-education. The Newbie can help you heal up to 70% faster and was FDA cleared in September 2017. The Newbie uses pulse direct current, which mimics the same neurological signals the brain uses and allows the therapist to identify those signals with 100% accuracy. Newbie can even help improve your sleep while tackling issues with neck, knee, and shoulder pain, sciatica, and arthritis. It can accelerate your fitness progress, which means better results in less sessions. Get stronger quicker. Why not use the same technology that the Dodgers and the LA Clippers use? Focus PT located on Peachland off Lions in Newhall. Call 255-4205. Go online at focusphysicaltherapyscv.com. By popular demand, you can now consider yourself at home with Lionel Bart's award-winning musical adaptation of the classic Charles Dickens novel, Oliver Twist. Play now through August 27th at the Canyon Theater Guild. You will love watching this beloved novel spring to life with some of the most memorable characters and songs to ever grace the stage. For reservations, call the box office at 661-799-2702 or you can purchase tickets online at canyontheater.org. 
Healthcare can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access to affordable, quality primary care. There are three locations to serve you, Canyon Country, Newhall, and Valverde. Go to sdfhc.org for more information and to find the location most convenient for you. Coming to the canyon, Gordon Lightfoot, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Berlin, The Motels, Robbie Krieger of The Doors, Corey Feldman, The Smithereens, Faster Pussycat, Stephen Piercy of Rat, Young Dubliners, Pancho Sanchez, War, Ambrosia, The Spinners, Eric Gales, and so much more. Country nights every Thursday. The canyon is the perfect place to host special events. Call 888-645-5006 to book yours today. The Canyon, Santa Clarita, where music meets the soul. Tickets available through access.com. Welcome to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, where life-changing moments happen daily. Set out on safari and discover 1,800 acres of sprawling savannas teeming with wildlife, as well as world-class botanical gardens. There's no place like it on Earth. Encounter rhinos, Ooh. giraffes, wildebeest, and large herds of wildlife roaming together. Journey through the bamboo forests and come face to face with Sumatran tigers. Hop alongside kangaroos and dive underwater to meet the only two platypuses outside of Australia and experience the awe-inspiring giants of Elephant Valley. When you're here, you'll discover adventure is in every moment and a moment can change a lifetime. For your family's ticket to fun, visit San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance.org. That's San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance.org. Satisfy your sweet tooth with a bite of sweet perfection from Nothing Bunt Cakes in Valencia. Their decadent cakes are ideal for your next birthday, anniversary, baby shower, wedding, holiday party, and more. Nothing Bunt Cakes makes their treats readily available without compromising quality. You can expect real butter and cream cheese, fresh eggs, and lots of love in each of their 10 luscious flavors. To order your own sweet treat, visit their Valencia Bakery in the Whole Foods Shopping Center or log on to nothingbuntcakes.com. Many families face a new challenge. Childcare has forced one parent out of the workforce. Otter has created a solution. Otter is a child care marketplace that connects Santa Clarita parents who need child care with stay-at-home parents who can care for your kids alongside their own. Otter unlocks the ability for those parents to earn money and provide badly needed child care for our valley. Otter connects you with your neighbors. Register for free at withotter.com. Withotter.com. Otter, child care that feels like family. It's like no other station I've ever listened to. It's great. Your, your hometown station. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220, KHTS. And we're speaking with one of Senior Hour's sponsors, Miles McNamara from Comfort Keepers in Home Care. And let's continue where we left off. Do you yeah, remember? I do, and I'll wrap it up quickly because I know we're short on time. Is okay. that you know the bill that Gene mentioned is a, a definite step in the right direction, but uh, you know as far as the advanced health care directive and 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 we I, we didn't have time to get into the trust and, and you know the, tr the transfer of assets while saving yeah. a ton of taxes mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. We can do that at a different show. Um, but this advanced health care directive, and I really wanted to circle back to. Obviously, it's important for our, our aging loved ones, our mom or dad. But now imagine your baby girl. She just turned 18, and God forbid something happened to her. You get a call. You rush to the hospital. The doctors go, whoa, your baby girl's now an adult. You need an advanced health care directive to, be, to speak on her behalf. So I'm, my main point is it still applies for your children who have turned 18. You know, if this next of kin thing passes, that's awesome. But right now... And, and, but, you know, just imagine that world where you get that devastating call that your baby girl or baby boy just, you know, turned 18 and now they need you to help them. But you can't because the doctors have to follow the law. So don't shoot the messenger, mm -hmm. you know. So it's, there's just so much. We don't know what we don't know. And, you know, so you really need to think about that journey. You need to think about that talk you need to think about who would follow that map you need to think about tax savings in your you know when you do it a state plan or a, a trust i mean there's just so many things that you know people and i say it again you know people don't mm -hmm. plan to fail they just fail to plan 
That's right. So you yeah. need to kind of take Miles, a breath. Yes. Great, Miles. A great point. Super point. So contact information for you, Miles. Yeah, you can go to comfortkeepers.com or we're right down on Lions Avenue and you can give us a call 661-287-4200. 661-287-4200. Call us for a free assessment if you think that might be right for you for home for home care. Great, great, Miles. Appreciate it. We are sponsored by Miles McNamara, Comfort Keepers in Home Care, Providence Holy Cross Medical Center, and Hestia Med Spa. Listen to us next week on the Senior Hour. Now go and enhance your quality of life.